Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Savior, Jesus the Christ. I'm Pastor Fred Brom and I'm coming to you today from the Deerfield in New Richmond, Wisconsin. It occurred to me today, and maybe it's occurred to you as well, that we are already well beyond halfway in our Lenten journey. And in our experiences as people of faith, my guess is that a lot of us have uh, turned our attention to our journey into COVID-19 and uh, perhaps uh, haven't been thinking as much uh, about our walk of faith and what that means in our rediscovery of who Christ is in our life. I want to spend a little time visiting about that today, knowing that Lent calls us to a journey to a place where God covenants with us, makes promises to us. Lent calls us to practice justice and to bring God's hope into our communities and to all people. Lent calls us to faithful living and to trust the one who gives us life. And Lent calls each of us to take up our cross as we walk towards Calvary and to trust the one who bears it with us as we journey with God. Let us pray. Bend your ear to our prayers, Lord Christ, and come among us by your gracious life and death for us. Bring light into the darkness of our hearts and anoint us with your spirit, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We hear the word of God for us today from the psalmist in Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep, keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. And the Lord will watch over your comings and your goings, both now and forevermore. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Well, the psalmist leads us to look at the promises of God for us in our life as we have joined our Lenten journey into this combined journey with our COVID experiences in fact, it's interesting from my point of view to look at the fact that as we're on this journey, there are turns on the path that we just haven't anticipated, that we've not experienced before, none of us, and yet we know God goes before us and leads us. As with the psalmist, he is our strength, he protects us, he is our helper in every sense of the word. That help comes to us as we remember the promises that are ours through God's holy word, the promise of God's love for us. We hear it in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever would believe in him wouldn't perish but would know life everlasting. Jesus teaches his disciples about that love and says that we're to love one another. A new commandment, though, comes with that that you would love one another as he has loved us. And so on this Lenten journey, we are rediscovering what that means. The love that we have from Christ protects us from all fear, gives us courage and strength, and teaches us how to love our neighbor as we've been loved, with compassion and grace, making sacrifice, sacrifice something that we know well, in our Christian faith, that we would give up some of our own conveniences even during these days in order to meet the needs of others. And then there's the promise of God's trustworthiness. 
we hear from Solomon in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that we're to trust in the Lord with all of our heart, not leaning on just our own understandings, but acknowledging him and his presence with us every day and every aspect of that day so that he would open up our vision to how he directs our path. God's trustworthiness is to be approached with our whole hearts so that we would indeed yield to his authority in our life. And then there's the promise of God's presence with us. We see it exampled in the life of Joshua. In Joshua 1, 9, who now has to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River into the promised land of Canaan. The path has some obstacles to it, and there'll be trouble ahead. And so Joshua, in contemplating that, hears from God. And God says to him in Joshua 1.9, Haven't I commanded you? Haven't I reminded you before? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged. For I am the Lord your God, and I'm with you wherever you go a promise we cling to today in these uncertain times, the promise that God would never leave us or forsake us as to the promise of the children of Israel, a promise to Joshua that is a promise to you and me, reiterated after Jesus' resurrection as he's taken up to the Father's side. I am with you through the end of the age, the promise of God's presence with us. And then the power of God, also a, pr a promise to you and I, exampled in the life of a young Jewish girl named Mary, who's engaged to marry Joseph. Mary was faithful according to the Jewish worship traditions, and that was noted by God, who sent his emissary to Mary, saying, Mary, because of your faithfulness, you've been chosen to be this, the mother of God's son, the son of God. And you'll name him Jesus, and he will be our Emmanuel. Mary was taken aback and asked how this could ever happen. Gabriel responded, as it's recorded in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37, For with God nothing is impossible. Again, we claim to the promise that God works positively, constructively, who works all things for good to those who love him and who are called according to his purposes. God's promises lead us this day along this winding path that we walk, leads us to life, the light of the resurrection of our Lord, raised from the dead and raising us to new hope, propelling us into community to be that light for one another. Thanks be to God. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Holy God, loving Father, it is you whom we flee to to find protection and safety. We confess you as Lord of our life, the Lord who provides for us, strengthens us, and gives us hope. We thank you for the gift of your love offered to us through your Son's sacrifice Strengthen us, we pray, in our faith today. Give us the courage as we walk this Lenten journey. We pray all of this in the name of the one who taught us when we prayed to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord be with you, strengthen you, and give you hope. In the name of the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We go to serve the Lord and to serve one another. Thanks be to God.